do you guys ever do like a household project or something and it's like stuck on your fingers and hands and then you go back and you're just like man i wish i wish i would have worn gloves well that's how i am today i was doing some sealant around the tub and i'm saying sealant because saying caulking is just i don't know how youtube's going to translate it into the closed captions so you've been warned but that sealant that you put around the kitchen sink, the bathtub, and it's all over my hands because I decided to touch it and smooth it out. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe not. But today, I need to come to you guys. I need to bring you a quick review of Turn Brown. All right, if you're new here, I am Tyson with Faithfully Beer. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you, all of you, every single one, no matter what you do with this video, I appreciate you. Today, the company we're reviewing is Turnbull Tonics. And I don't think it's called Beard Company or Grooming or anything. I think it's just called Turnbull Tonics. And I got three oils and a butter from them. I don't even remember how I got this. I either won it in a giveaway or I purchased it. I think I purchased it because the butter jar was that cool looking. You'll have to stick around to see the butter container, jar, thing, vessel, holder. You'll see it here in a minute. Stick around to the for the whole video so you can see it. But so let's just dig right in. I don't know a whole bunch about Turnbull Tonics, but I do really like this logo and the look of all of this stuff. So go ahead and look at these oils here. And each oil I've noticed has a different carrier blend, has a different carrier blend. So we're talking uh, the first one that we have here is L Lucky's Growth Tonic. Lucky's Growth Tonic. Now I don't have any of the scent profiles right in front of me, so we're going to kind of guess. And, and the reason I didn't really dig too far into the scent profiles is none of them really blew me away of like, this is an amazing scent profile. You can pretty much get them all. I'd say this is your middle of the pack scent profile type profiles. Um, not super complex. Don't really necessarily blow you away or anything like that. But the growth serum really, okay, it's called Lucky's Growth Tonic, not growth serum. Get it right, because I don't want to confuse that. It's basically jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, and essential oils. It just smells really earthy to me, really <clears throat> earthy and like pine needly. Earthy and pine needly. That's what I'm saying. Earthy and pine needly. Woodsy. Doesn't really blow me out of the water. Foresty. Uh, but... I like the feel in the beard, and that's kind of a big thing. But when the scent isn't like the most staggering scent in the world, yeah, the primary purpose is to make my beard feel good, right? And for health of my beard and feel of my beard. But I have to be able to stay on the scent, and there's something in this one that just doesn't sit right with me, and it could be... I swear there's pine in here. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but there... There probably is, or too much, like maybe cedar. It's a woodsy-ish, pine needle-y, you're out in the mountains type scent. Those just aren't me. They're just not me all the time. But the feel in the beard was really, really good. And it wasn't overpowering to where I had to go wash it out. I could keep it in all day long. It just wasn't my preference of scents. Then I also have one called Wookie Cafe. And this is jojoba, castor, essential oils, and fragrance oils. And when you smell this one, you're just like, okay... There you go. That's a latte. That is a, a latte. More, maybe more like a coffee with milk. Like, I don't get maybe a vanilla latte or a mocha, but I don't get like an overwhelming. I mean, it's just, it's a coffee scent. It's a, it, it's a coffee scent. But again, the feel and beard is incredible. So you have a different carrier blend, but the feel and beard is uh, great. So you, you, you're noticing a trend here, right? We, we have different carrier blends. And then you also have uh, Candyman, which is coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and essential oils. And to me, this is like a straight-up peppermint, those red and white candy peppermint candy things that you get. Like, it, it, it smells like that to me. It's a pepperminty scent. A sweet pepperminty scent. Now, again, what I want to talk about with the oils is I like the look of them. I like that the name is on there. I like the labels. They look good. They have a born on date on there, which is awesome. I really wish the scent profile was on the labels. So if that was uh, something I would say, I would improve the scent, uh, the labels to have the scent profile on there. 
Uh, we have like one blue bottle, one brown bottle, two blue bottles, one brown bottle. I don't know if that's something that normally always happens or if that was a COVID type thing of I couldn't get regular bottles. Not 100% sure because I have two blues and one brown. Process of elimination for me would say that blue is normal, brown was the oddball, but maybe brown is normal and the blue, he ran out and the blue, I, I don't know. Maybe he just switches them all up. I don't know. Don't know. But what I really wanted to show you was this butter. And take a look at this butter while I read the ingredients. You're talking cocoa butter, mango butter, shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, and fragrance oils. Now you have the in this, what, hexagon-shaped thing? Make your beard feel good. Born on date. Ingredients, the cool label. And then you, 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 you got the glass container, little jar. This smells exactly like the oil, and so I got the, the Wookie Cafe, which is the coffee scent. It smells exactly the same as the oil to me. But again, the feel in beard is excellent. So if I were just to scoop a little bit of this out, kind of show you what it looks like here. Maybe. Oh, it's locked on my eyes. It's locked on... Watch. No, you can't see my eyes. You can't see my eyes. Focus on this, because you can't see my eyes. Okay, that didn't work. I guess I have the focus locked. But anyway, you scoop it out. It's a really nice feel. And then you put it in your palm like this, and you go like this, and boom, gone. It, like, melts down really nice, goes on the beard super nice. Now what am I going to do? Uh, crap. I don't have a paper towel. Oh, well. We'll just do this. We'll put it in the beard. I already have product in, so I don't know how well it's going to soak in. But we'll put it up in here. I'm going to smell like a like a, a latte for the rest of the day. But that's okay. That's all right. All right? We're just going to smell like a latte. No big deal. It goes against what I had in because I had in, like, a cherry tobacco scent. Speaking of that, where is that scent? There is a cherry tobacco scent, which is the one I like. And I, it's in the bathroom. It's in the bathroom, but it's my favorite scent out of all. Come on, Tyson. Get it together. It's Friday. You're supposed to be on top of this stuff. Stupid. All right. So, what I would rank out Turbo Tonic, I, I haven't seen a lot from them lately. Uh, this is stuff I've had laying around since May, and I'm just getting to it. Crazy me going through the packaging and just getting to it, but... This is something I've had for a while, and I'm just getting to it now, and I actually am super upset at myself that I'm just getting to it now because it feels really good. and makes my beard feel really nice. It feels healthy. It feels good. I'm impressed with Turnbull Tonics. I'd like to see something more coming from him, some new scents. I'd like to see uh, some more product because I actually really, really, really enjoyed this, especially that butter. Uh, poured butter felt really, really good. Uh, I'd like to maybe help out with scents a little bit to get them a little bit more complex, a little bit different things. Maybe he has some other stuff, and this just happens to be what I got. I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put these guys right up on the above average type beer company. I don't I don't think they're average. I think the feel and beard is beyond average. I think the scent profiles are average, but the feel, the uniqueness is above average. So I'm gonna put them in at above average on. Uh, as far as a beer company. And and while you guys are contemplating that, go ahead and comment down below if you've uh, tried out Turnbull Tonics. And I'm going to go find a, a scrubber or some paint thinner. I don't know what I'm going to do. If you got if you got any ideas how to get that bathtub sealant out off of your fingers and out from under your nails, comment that down below. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you have that notification bell hit and turn it on to all notifications. Share this with a friend, but most importantly, hopefully you stuck around till the end of the video because we're going for watch time and we're going to see what that does. And again, doesn't cost you guys anything. Leave it plain. Turn it on mute. I don't care if you want to punch me in the face. I don't care if you don't like my voice. Just let the video play. I mean, it's a human helping a human. We're humans helping humans. Until I talk to you guys again soon, be bearded, be you, and God bless.